Hi guys! Good day, it's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today's class, it's all about the Fibonacci sequence and we are focusing in recursive formula. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So the formula class, that would be F sub N equals F sub N minus 2 plus F sub N minus 1. Now, we will be referring this recursive formula from the Fibonacci patterns. What will be the patterns here? Of course, we will start at 0 and 1. So this will be 0, 1. Then you will add preceding terms. 0 plus 1, that is 1. 1 plus 1, that is 2. 1 plus 2, that is 3. 2 plus 3, that is 5. 3 plus 5 is 8. 5 plus 8 is 13. And to get the next number, just simply add the preceding terms. Now, this will be the pattern class, and we will be referring this one with regards to our formula. So, your 0 here will be your f sub 0. Your 1 will be f sub 1. Your 1 again will be f sub 2. This 2 will be your f sub 3. This 3 will be your f sub 4. This 5 will be your f sub 5. 8 will be your f sub 6. And 13 will be your f sub 7, and so on. So, use this formula to find f sub 3. We already know, class, based on the patterns, that our f sub 3 is 2. So the answer for f sub 3 is 2. But how will you get the answer? So this will be the, the formula or the equation or the solution. That would be f sub n. Let me write the formula equals f sub n minus 2 plus f sub n minus 1. So once again, the answer for f sub 3 based on this pattern is 2. Now how to get 2? This is the thing that you will do for f sub n. Substitute the value of n. You're looking for f sub 3. So this will be f sub 3 equals f sub 3. Once again, your n is 3. Minus 2 plus f sub 3 minus 1. So once again, f sub 3 equals 3 minus 2. This will be f sub 1 plus 3 minus 1. That would be f sub 2. So f sub 3 equals f sub 1 plus based on the patterns. So check the pattern class. f sub 1 is 1. The value of f sub 1 is 1 plus your f sub 2 is 1. So 1 plus 1, that's why your f sub 3 class, based on this pattern, is 2. And that's how you use the formula. Alright, so let's try number 2, or letter B, f sub 4. So f sub 4 equals, so let me just write the formula, f sub n equals f sub n minus 2 plus f sub n minus 1. So f sub 4, copy f sub 4 minus 2. Once again, your n is 4. You're looking for f sub 4 and your n is 4. Plus f sub 4 minus 1. So this will be f sub 4 equals 4 minus 2. That would be f sub 2. Plus 4 minus 1. That would be f sub 3. So you already know, class, that your f sub 4, okay? So 4 minus 2 is 2. And 4 minus 1 is 3. So you already know, class, that your f sub 4, it must be 3, okay, based on this pattern class. So by just checking the pattern class, you already know the value of your f sub 4. So f sub 4 will be f sub 2 class is 1, based on this pattern, the value of f sub 2 is 1, plus your f sub 3 is 2. So f sub 4, that would be 1 plus 2, that is 3. So that's why in f sub 4 class, based on this pattern, the answer is 3. Alright, easy, right? For the recursive formula. So, pause the video class. I will be erasing this one. Alright, so... Let's try to find f sub 5. So, f sub 5. So, f sub 5 equals f sub 5. This is 5 minus 2. Plus, once again, just simply substitute the value of 5 plus in this n. So n becomes 5, so this will be f sub 5 minus 1. So f sub 5 equals, based on the pattern class, we already know the answer of f sub 5, that is 5. So f sub 5 minus 2, that would be f sub 3, plus 5 minus 1, that would be f sub 4. So f sub 5 equals f sub 3 class, get the value of f sub 3, that is 2, plus f sub 4, that is 3. So, f sub 5 equals 2 plus 3, that is 5. And that would be f sub 5 is 5. Easy, right? So, that's how you find class. That's how you answer recursive formula. So, how about f sub 6? f sub 6 equals f sub 6 minus 2 plus f sub 6 minus 1. So, f sub 6 equals, so 6 minus 2, that would be 4, 
plus f sub 6 minus 1, that would be f sub 5. So once again, you already know that your answer for f sub 6, that would be 8. So to get 8, what would be the value of f sub 4 plus? f sub 4, you already know the value, which is 3. So 3 plus your f sub 5 is 5. So 3 plus 5, that's why your f sub 6 is 8. Easy, right? So once you get the value of f sub 4 and f sub 5, you just simply check the value class of f sub 4, that is t, and f sub 5, that is 5. Then you add, and that would be your f sub 6, which is 8. Alright, now let's try this one class. More, It's quite tricky class. Let's try this one. If f sub 0 equals 2, and f sub 1 equals 6, what is the 8th term? Alright, so let's try this one. What is the 8th term? So, by the way, after answering this one, you will try this one, answering this one. What will be the value of f sub, f sub 9? So, what's the value of f sub 9? You try this one, class, later on. What's the value of f sub 9? So, letter E. If f sub 0 equals 2 and f sub 1 equals 6, what is the value? What is the 8 term? So, f sub 0 is 2. So, f sub 0... Okay, that is 2. So, f sub 0. Okay, let me just write. So, the f sub 0 is 2. And the f sub 1 is 6. So, f sub 1 is 6. Now, once again, to get f sub f sub 2, so simply add, check the patterns, plus 0 plus 1 is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. 1 plus 2 is 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. So, therefore, to get f sub 2, we'll just add 2 and 6. 2 plus 6 that would be 8. So f sub 2 is 8. And we add 6 plus 8, that would be 14. So therefore, f sub 3 is 14. And since we're looking for the 8th term, okay, so we're looking for the 8th term, just simply add this one class. So 1 plus, this is the first term, 2. 6 is the second term, 8 is the third term, 14 is the fourth term. So once again, the arrangement class, this is the first term, second term, third term, fourth term. So, to get the fifth term, f sub 4, just add 8 plus 14. So, that would be 22. And then, this would be the fifth term. So, sixth term, f sub 5. So, sixth term class, that would be 14 plus 22. 6, 36. f sub 5 is 36. Alright, so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have 6 terms, so we're looking for the 8th term. So 22 plus 36, 22 plus 36, that would be 8. 58, this is 58. And then 36 plus 58, 36 plus 58. This will be 14, carry 1, 3 plus, 5 plus 3 is 8, plus 1 is 9. So 94. Alright, so this is 94, and this will be your f sub 7. And check the number of terms, class. We have 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 terms. So therefore, the answer is 94. The 8th term is 94. This will be our answer, class. Alright, so we can write this one a sub 8, or the 8th term. That would be 94. Alright, so that's our answer class. Now you try to answer this one class, f sub 9. So if this is f sub 9, this will be f sub 7. Next will be f sub 8. And next one will be f sub 9. And you put your answer in the comment section down below. So if you have if you have some questions about Fibonacci sequence with regards to recursive formula, go ahead. Please do leave a comment in the comment section down below because we will be answering this one. So once again, this is Teacher MJ. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share to your classmates class so that we can help more students. Once again, this is Teacher MJ. Bye-bye.